Well, welcome back. Our topic tonight is exponential growth and decay, also known as directly proportional. So these are all small little types of word problems, but we have to be very familiar with the lingo in order to be successful. All right, so here's one of the most important, important sentences of our unit. The rate of change of a variable y is proportional to the value of y, and y is a function of t. So let's go back. That second word should, you know, be a big, big signal to us here. It says the rate of change. Okay, so that's implying, of course, we're going to take a derivative. And who are we taking the rate of change of? Well, it says of variable y. So I'm implying that as dy with respect to t here, it says dy dt equals, there's that word is, is means equals, proportional. We're going to use k as our constant of proportionality, and I am proportional to the value of y. So again, if you can just slow down and read, you're good to go here. So one more time, the rate of change of y, that's dy dt, is, means equals, proportional, k is my constant of proportionality, and I am proportional to y. Now this is one of the biggest differential equations we have. Now, when we first talked about differential equations, I sat here and I integrated both sides, and I said either you're going to integrate both sides every time, or you're going to memorize that this second step is going to turn into y equals ce to the kt. So if you don't have that memorized by tomorrow, we're in some trouble here, because you're going to be costing yourself quite a bit of points. We need to know that this converts to y equals ce to the kt. Now, in this function, y equals ce to the kt, we need to be clear that in an exponential function, this coefficient, the c value, represents the initial amount. Now, many times you're given that initial, but sometimes you're not, so you're going to have to work with it. k, of course, is your constant of proportionality, and t is time. Example 1. Bacteria grown in a certain culture increases at a rate proportional to the number present. Stop right there. We've got to get an equation based off that first sentence. The key that should give it away is that word proportional to. So something is proportional to something. And it says bacteria is grown at a rate. There's my calculus word. I need the rate of bacteria, or dbdt. B for bacteria, the rate of bacteria. Is proportional to means equals k. Remember, k is that constant of proportionality. And what am I proportional to? Well, it says the number present. The number of what? The number of bacteria present. So we now have to say, this is our first step every time. Our second step is to memorize what this turns into. And that's y equals ce to the kt. Now, I'm going to put it in terms of the problem. Instead of saying y, I was integrating db dt. So I'm going to say b equals ce to the kt. Now that I have my general equation, I can actually start worrying about the numerical values in here. It says, if 1,000 bacteria are present initially. All right, so stop right there. Which of these variables stands for initial? Okay, and again, that's something you should know from probably Algebra 1. That coefficient here is our initial value. So I can say B equals 1,000 E to the KT. Okay, now it says... The number doubles in 30 minutes. All right, so what are they telling me? The number of bacteria is going to double when my time is 30. Okay, so how much bacteria do I currently have? Well, I have 1,000. That was my initial amount, and I'm going to double that. So I'm going to set this equal to 2,000. I'm not changing any numbers. I'm just setting it equal to 2,000, specifically when I let my time equal 30. So I've got 30k up there. All right, now we just quickly solve. I can divide out my 1,000. So I've got 2 equals e to the 30k. Take the ln of both sides, little zap rule there, that'll kill that, equals 30k. And I've got the ln of 2 over 30 equals k. Now I'm not done. If they said, what is the constant of proportionality? I'm done, I've solved for k. But there's a continuing question here. How many bacteria will there be in two hours? How many bacteria will there be in two hours? All right, so basically I've just found the value of k, so I'm going to substitute that into my equation. b equals 1,000 e to the ln of 2 over 30 times t. 
And the question said, how much bacteria will there be in two hours? Well, the only thing I have to catch is that this 30 was actually in minutes. So I can't just plug two hours in. I would have to use 120 minutes. So I'm finding the bacteria. E to the ln of 2 over 30 times 120. And let's see, I can kill that 0 and that and make that 4 ln of 2. And I think I can do this in my head here without a calculator. This 4 can move up to the exponent. So I actually have, and if you have a calculator, that's fine. We, that would be, you know, just okay. I could say this is e to the ln of 2 to the 4th. That zaps out, and that gets me 16,000 bacteria. 2. A bacteria culture initially has 400 bacteria, and it's growing at a rate directly proportional to its size. So two things to take away from there. First of all, I know that my initial condition is 400. Okay, and again, that's your C value in these equations. And my formula is going to be the proportional formula. So I know that something is proportional to something. And if I just read again, it says bacteria is growing at a rate. So that is dBdt is, is my equal sign, proportional is my k, and I'm proportional to the amount of bacteria I have. Again, this always changes into y equals ce to the kt. It's a million times easier to memorize that than to separate the variables and integrate. And again, I'm just going to throw this as b equals ce to the kt instead of y. All right. Remember, we know the initial amount, and that is your c-value, so I can substitute that in right off the bat. So I have b equals 400 e to the kt. All right, now what values go together? It says if after 5 hours, there are 10,000 bacteria. So 5 hours, I've got 10,000 bacteria. You can't change that c-value. That is a constant. That is the initial amount we're starting with. So, I know that my bacteria is 10,000, specifically when I plug in a 5 for the time. I'm going to divide out my 400, and that's 25 equals e to the 5k. Simply take the ln of both sides to kill the e. Nice little zap roll. Uh, just remember that the ln of e is 1, it doesn't disappear. So I've got the ln of 25 equals 5k, so my constant of proportionality, my k value, is the ln of 25 over 5. Now, I don't think I'm done there. They didn't say what is the constant. They said then at what time, so my question is find the time, will the number of bacteria be 20,000? All right, so I'm just going to go back to my formula and substitute in the k. So again, I'm not changing my initial 400. b equals 400 e to the ln of 25 over 5t. And the question said at what time, so I'm finding t, will I have 20,000 bacteria? Okay, divide out that 400 again. Uh, so that gets me 50 equals e to the ln of 25 over 5 times t. I'm going to ln both sides to kill that e. And I've got the ln of 25, running out of room here, divided by 5 times t. And then to solve for t, I'm simply going to multiply by the reciprocal. and I get approximately 6.1 hours. All right, let's try another one here. Now, they're not always going to give you an initial population. This seems to be a pretty common theme. So stay with me here. If the equation dy dt equals ky, and k is a constant that models the growth of bacteria population, if t is greater than or equal to zero, with t measured in hours, if this population doubles in size after 20 hours, what is the value of k? All right, so notice they gave me dy dt equals ky. Again, 
Instead of wasting my time in separating and integrating, memorize that this turns into y equals ce to the kt. Now, c is that initial value, and I don't see an initial value in here, so I can't put in anything I want. But I do know that my population will double its size after 20 hours. So you might be thinking, well, what the heck am I going to double? Well, the amount of our population happens to be c. So I am going to set my equation. I'm going to double it. I'm going to say 2c is equal to ce to the k times 20. So let me slow down and say that again. The population I currently have is c. That's my initial population. It's not a number. I don't have one to put in there. So I'm just using c as my initial population. And I'm doubling that, multiplying it by 2, after 20 hours. Okay, so I just want to stress you are not changing this number. And now we'll just simply solve for k. Uh, pretty straightforward. I would say divide out the c. I can't use the zap rule if somebody's in the way. Uh, my c's cancel. And I got 2 equals e to the k times 20. And now I can use the zap rule because there's nobody in front of the e. So the ln of 2, the ln of e, uh, that zaps out. And I've got the ln of 2 equals k times 20. So k equals the ln of 2 over 20. And that's it. That's simple. So you're not always going to have a numerical value for your initial. Sometimes you just have to stick with C. The growth of a population is modeled by the equation y prime of t equals kyt, where k is a constant and y of t is the population of size of any, of any time t measured in years. Okay, now this may not look like the other one did, but it is the same exact problem. y prime of t is saying the derivative of y with respect to t. Okay, so it may not look like everyone, but you have just have to slow down and ask yourself, what is it? Is proportional, okay, so they didn't come out and say it, but they use that letter k, to y of t. Okay, so I'm proportional to myself. And it tells us that the population doubles every 12 years. Okay, so again, this is going to turn into y equals ce to the kt. I think you've got that in your head by now. y equals ce to the kt. Now, do you know what your population is to make it double? Do they tell you your population is 1,000 or 2,000? No, they just tell you it's going to double. So my initial population of c is going to double. c now becomes 2c equals ce to the k times 12. Okay, so I can't stress this enough. This c stays here. Don't try to change it. You're setting it equal to 2c. Uh, again, pretty straightforward. I can't do an ln right off the bat because the c is in my way. So I've got to divide both sides by c. I've got 2 equals e to the k times 12. And you've got the drill by now, I would hope. The ln of 2 equals k times 12, and I've got the ln of 2 over 12 equals k. And I believe that's all they wanted was that constant of proportionality, the value of k, and we're good to go. Lastly, I just want to practice reading this one. Uh, it says the rate of change of population p at any time varies directly as the square root of population. Uh, which of the following best represents these relationships? Well, let's just go ahead and write the relationship. The rate of change of population, okay, that four-letter word should give it away. The rate of population, so that is dp dt, varies directly, okay, varies directly is another way to say is proportional. It is a direct proportion, and we did talk about that the first time we went through this, but direct proportion is the same thing as varies directly. So equals k, now just read what they want. It says square root population. And there you go. And that's all they're looking for. Well, hopefully we're feeling a little more confident in uh, this topic here, and we'll look for some good practice tomorrow. Have a great night.